I'm about to tell you about a specific feature in Amazon PPC that a lot of people don't know about and could give you a huge edge over your competition. So what is this feature that nobody knows about? Well, it's a specific match type. You know, when you go into your Amazon account, you go to create a campaign and sponsored product ads or sponsored brand ads, and you know, you can add a keyword and you could select exact phrase broad. Okay. Well, there's a fourth match type that's not listed modified broad match. So you're probably thinking like, what, wait a minute. I thought that was only in AdWords or if you even know about AdWords, but yeah, that's something that even when I first heard about this, I was like, oh, I thought that was only available there. But no, it's actually available on Amazon. And simply the way you do it is just the same exact keywords. How many ever keywords are in that uh, phrase that you want to run ads to, you just add a plus sign in front of each of the words in that phrase. And what this is gonna do is allow you to make sure that Amazon includes those three words in that phrase. Now you may be thinking, well, that's like phrase match. No, phrase match with phrase match, it only, it's gonna include those words, make sure they're included, but it's only going to allow Amazon to add words before and after that exact phrase. The same phrase, but adding on words to the front end and the back end. With modified broad match, it's going to allow you to put words in between, add words on the beginning and end. It's gonna allow you to rearrange the words that you had in the original phrase, but it's going to make sure that those words are in the phrase, however order, and even if there's words in between them. So this is a very powerful addition if you're trying to make sure that you know, you're running broad, but with modified broad, you can ensure that the keywords that you're going to show or the search terms you're going to show up for when somebody's shopping for your product, um, it's going to be relevant. You know, you're going to make sure all the keywords that Amazon shows your product for when somebody's searching are going to be relevant. So it's going to avoid situations like if you're selling black plastic knives to where now you're only showing up for knives or hunting knives or kitchen knives, sharp knives. Okay. It's just, black plastic knives or knives, black plastic or knives, black plastic party or knives, black plastic wedding. Okay. But the, the black plastic knives, those three keywords are going to be in the phrase no matter what. So again, you can see how this would be really powerful. So now what I want to do is go ahead and jump into my office. I'm going to show you a specific example of this and a tool that can help you out. All right, guys. So let's take a look here. The first example I want to show you is how you can use this for a brand name. So say for example, we have the brand name Becky's Bowls. All right, now if we just put this into a campaign with a normal broad match type, you could end up with just a bunch of random keywords um, that include the word bowls and without this part of the brand name, okay? So the good part about, as we said, with, broad, with modified broad match is it's going to make sure that these two keywords are in whatever search term or phrase that is that is searched in Amazon. Okay, this has to be in there. So you don't just end up with a bunch of random irrelevant terms related to bulls. So for example, she has a bunch of um, different products um, in her line. You know, she started the brand with just bulls, but now she has a bunch of different products. So this would allow, you know, other products to show up in her line potentially um, or that the customer searches, but it makes sure it has her brand name in there, her full brand name in there when they search it and not just Becky's. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing, um, and we'll show this with an actual search term in a minute, but it's going to automatically add the plus sign that you need in front of the keywords. And it's automatically going to, as long as you have both of these selected, um, if that's all you have is two keywords, it's going to mix and match them accordingly. Now you could also add in misspellings. Um, if we wanted to do Becky's or something like that. Um, let's see, we could do bowls like that or bowls like that. Either way, however you want to do it or just Becky like that, who knows? And click here, boom. Now you have all different types of combinations 
that could be related potentially to your brand. Now, when you create your campaign, you simply need to add these in just like this with plus signs in front of each word, just like this. All right, so now let's take another look at how this could really help you and differentiate you from just doing a normal phrase match. So say we're trying to sell black plastic knives, okay? That's our product. And we wanna make sure, because we're only selling black plastic knives, um, we wanna make sure all three of those keywords are in there no matter you know, what is searched, okay? So we can do black here, plastic knives. Again, we could do misspellings. A lot of times Amazon will do that automatically though. And we can search, click on all these different combinations, all right? And make sure modified broad matches um, clicked, selected, and there you have it. All of these different types of combinations that make sure, okay, this is going to make sure that all of these combinations um, are going to be included in your campaign. And then it will allow Amazon to then um, have other terms show up in between, but it's going to make sure that no matter what order these words are in, they have to be in the phrase. Okay, again, you can have something in between, but unlike, but like if it was a phrase match, you would be locked into a specific order and it could only add on before and after. With this, it's going to make sure those words are in there and it will allow Amazon to automatically input words in between, before and after, mix and match, et cetera, et cetera. Now, of course, there's a couple different strategies even with this. I mean, you gotta remember, this is broad match. So, and if it's gonna allow you to automatically insert words in between and behind and rearrange them, if Amazon's gotta automatically do that for you, you maybe don't need all these different combinations, okay? So you could just have black plastic knives with plus signs in front of each of them and just put that in there once and it can allow Amazon to automatically do that work of mixing and matching for you. But again, making sure all three of these are in the keyword no matter what. Because the last thing we want is for just Amazon to pick one keyword and then just start giving you a bunch of irrelevant keywords like knives for hunting or you know steel knives, sharp knives for cutting chicken or whatever it is. We specifically want to sell black plastic knives and for situations re related to that, like a birthday party or something, who knows? All right guys, if you got some value out of this video, definitely give us a thumbs up and get in there and try this out, okay? Take action on this. It, no matter what product you have, go ahead and set something up for your brand name, set something up with a, for a specific set of keywords and compare this to your data from your old broad match campaign. And when you're done, definitely leave a comment down below how it went. We'll see you in the next one.